Good evening. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm C.J. Ward. Vice President Kamala Harris is visiting the Central Coast tonight. I want to give you some pictures, video that came into our newsroom showing Air Force Two landing at Vandenberg Space Force Base earlier today. Vice President Harris landed around 2.45 p.m. She is meeting with the men and women of the U.S. Space Force and Space Command. During the meeting, she is getting an update on their work advancing national security. And let's go out and take a live look at Vandenberg Space Force Base. And you can see there, uh, that's where she'll be speaking. They have not started the ceremony yet. Uh, she is scheduled to speak at about 5.15. Again, Vice President Harris landed about 2.45 this afternoon. News Channel reporter Dave Alley has been following her visit all afternoon long. He has more on how this visit has gone so far and what we can expect. President, Vice President Kamala Harris indeed is spending part of her day on the Central Coast right here in Santa Barbara County at Vandenberg Space Force Base. And we are getting uh, very close now uh, to hearing from the Vice President speak uh, here. We're inside a building on the base. As you can see right behind me, a large audience uh, has gather, uh, gathered. Uh, the Vice President gonna, uh, is set to speak on advancing national security and uh, in space norms uh, in, uh, in space. Uh, this is all uh, part of a, a visit here for a couple of hours. Uh, she arrived, as mentioned, uh, in a dramatic sense here. Air Force Two uh, landing, touching down uh, on the airstrip here at Vandenberg uh, Space Force Base, about 2.45. Uh, and once the vice president uh, was able to make her way off that plane, she was joined by her husband, the second gentleman, Doug M. Hoff. They were uh, then greeted by base leadership, as well as California Senator Alex Padilla, uh, who was there as well as uh, Congressman Salud Carbajal. And uh, soon after that, they were quickly whisked away to another part of uh, the, the base here, the Combined Space Operations Center. That's where the vice president was briefed on the work that is happening there. Uh, part of a, a visit here designed to meet with all the men and the women uh, here at Vandenberg uh, that are in the U.S. Space Force as well as the U.S. Space Command and how they are working hard each and every day to advance national security. Now, the vice president all set to conclude her uh, her brief trip uh, with remarks here in front of this, this audience of, uh, of base personnel as well as invited guests. I've seen uh, a few recognizable faces, uh, including some uh, college presidents here from the Central Coast. I spoke uh, personally with Cal Poly President Dr. Uh, Jeffrey Armstrong, as well as uh, as Hancock President uh, Dr. Kevin Walters and Cuesta College President Dr. Jill Stearns, as well as part of uh, the, the, the people here that have gathered for this very rare appearance. Now, the, the Vice President uh, will make her scheduled remarks at about 5.15 here this evening, so less than an hour away. Then she'll make a short trek down the coast to Los Angeles, where she is set to, uh, to attend a National Democratic Committee fundraiser later this evening. Uh, and I do also want to mention, I did mention it as a rare appearance, this is actually the second time now in three years a sitting vice president has toured Vandenberg Space Force Base. Uh, it was just back in 2019 when uh, then Vice President Mike Penn Pence also uh, visited uh, Vandenberg, and he also spoke in this exact same building back then. And again, the Vice President now, Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, set to do that at 515. We'll be covering that uh, uh, throughout the evening. We'll have a full re recap coming up later on uh, tonight uh, on our later newscast. But for right now, reporting live at Vandenberg Space Force Base, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Allen.